Welcome to Lesson 3A, Anthropogenic Sources. This will probably be the shortest lesson that we have all semester. I just want to talk about anthropogenic sources of air pollution. If you recall, anthropogenic means that it's human caused. And so let's look at both the number one and the number two source of anthropogenic air pollution. So I have a table here. I just want to point to some of these things and you could read through this yourself. Some of the pollutants, carbon monoxide, CO, the number one source is vehicles, on-road vehicles. So that just means cars, trucks, buses. Number two is off-road vehicles. So that includes trains, planes, construction equipment, anything that's not your typical vehicle on the road. NOx is just a general collection of any NO combination. So we have NO, nitric oxide, NO2, nitrogen dioxide, nitrous oxide, N2O. All of these are combined to NOx. And if you put those all together, power plants, mostly from burning coal and oil, are number one. And number two is on-road vehicles. Again, I just have a note here. If you combine on-road and off-road vehicles, like we had these two, those together would be bigger than power plants. Uh, VOCs, remember what those are, volatile organic compounds. These come from paint and varnish, et cetera. So that's the number one source. On-road vehicles, again, we see this now three times, is the second source of VOCs. So when you burn gas or diesel and you're driving down the road, you give off some VOCs, including gasoline, some unburned gasoline. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, mostly from power plants that burn coal and oil and other hydrocarbons. Now, this is decreasing the amount of sulfur dioxide in the atmosphere by coal plants, especially, and oil, because we're decreasing the uses of those in power plants as we have more and more renewables added. The second one is industrial processes, chemical plants, processing plants, et cetera. PM10, remember, that's coarse particles, particulate matter that are less than 10 microns. The number one source is, again, from vehicles, but this is fugitive dust from roads. And that's an interesting one, mostly tires and other particles and stones and stuff that are kicked up, This these larger particulate matter. Do you ever wonder what happens to the tread on your tires? So as you drive around, you know that your tires keep getting smaller and smaller. The tread wears out. What happens to all that rubber? Well, some of it gets broken up into little tiny particles that escape into the air. And so that's this fugitive dust from roads. Some of it, especially if you skid or something, you burn out. It makes a coating on the road. But you lose lots of rubber. You have to change your tires every 30,000 miles or so because of that. The second major source is fugitive dust from construction, mining, etc. And then finally, PM 2.5 or fine particles. The number one is industrial processes, chemical plants, etc. And then we have vehicles again, off-road vehicles this time, trains, planes, construction equipment, et cetera, is the number two source. So of all these, we can look back either on-road or off-road vehicles. Let's just look for vehicles. There's vehicles, and this is related to vehicles. The only one that doesn't have vehicles is this SO2. We have vehicles on all these other pollutants that we listed. And these are just a few of the pollutants. But anyway, these are all man-made or human-made anthropogenic sources of air pollution. No quiz for this one, just uh, wanted you to know where some of this air pollution is coming from. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.